matter what my expertise is in, in the basic natural sciences and engineering, unless you can actually get the community to participate and, and work with that part of the system as well, it, it's, it's not going to be sustainable in the long run. You can build it, but then it's just going to not be taken care of. Clearly, for example, in Mount Pleasant, was that when I started in that project, the community was having a very uh, antagonistic relationship with the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, the Department of Natural Resources had denied their permit for flood control. So suddenly there was a, a battle between them and, and, and I was brought in together with a number of other university people to help facilitate a settlement. And through that process of facilitation we saw a mindset change from looking at water, in this case flood waters, as being uh, something to get rid of to rather flood waters as being something that could be used as part of a channel reconfiguration to actually create these really nice wetlands and park systems. So their mindset changed. When we first proposed this plan to the community, the community people were saying, we don't want this, we don't want these wetlands, we don't want the mosquitoes, we don't want these trails that's going to bring crime into our neighborhoods. Why these weeds, why these prairie plants, they're going to infest our yards and we're going to have all these problems with weeds. But now you go down there and you see that these are the same people who are riding their bikes and walking their, their strollers or sitting and bird watching. They've suddenly realized that this has become a very valuable asset to them. And it's not the science necessarily that's going to solve the sustainability of the problem. It's that science being done in such a way that it is embraced by and used by the, uh, the community. And so, for example, what I enjoy most about Mount Pleasant now is going down there and seeing the community becoming the greatest advocates for the restoring of their ecosystem. The science makes it possible, but the community makes it happen.